All right, so let's get right into it. We've got this beat here. And I think what makes this beat work is the fact that there is a call and response with the two halves of it. So you've got the first half, which is the dun, dun, dun. And then you've got the response, which is the other one. And yeah, you just separate it. So it has more energy. It's uh, it's bouncier because it's not like notes are constantly coming. It's just like you've got these notes and then they stop. And then you've got these other two notes. Yeah. And then the kick drum comes in with the pattern and that just adds a little more intensity, makes it a little harder. And then you've got the uh, that one kick drum right there. And that one just kind of like bounces into the next section, which is uh, which is cool. And then you've got simple clap, simple clap, just regular old clap, nothing special at all. It's just a clap. I put two there because one sounded bad. Then you've got the open hi hat, and this is a pretty cool addition. Um, once again, stuff on the two. I meant to say and. It's the one and. It's not the two. It's the one and. One and. Two and. Three and. Four and. And then you've got the hi-hats, which are nice because they're very on beat. And they add to the wonkiness of this song, you know? And they, they definitely add to the wonkiness, but they keep the rhythm in the back. And those last two hats right there, it's like a turnaround, which is when you get ready for the next repeat of the loop. And that is... Uh, that adds a lot to this. Without that, it would feel very flat. It would not be that good of a beat. So, and I'm recording on my iPhone. But yeah, the turnaround is very, very important here. It is what makes this beat work. And I think what makes this turnaround so intense and well done is the fact that there's nothing playing except for the hi-hat and the clap. And it's, uh, it's contrast between the bass hit followed by the open hi-hat that comes at you in like two more seconds definitely i mean every element is just as important but the turnaround makes it work very well so yeah there you go let's move on to the second one i just made this one and this is more like a poppy big room drake dance dance trap pop hip-hop r&b thing so <laughs> you've got a uh, yeah, let's listen to it. So yeah, those two right there, that is pretty important. It kind of sets the stage. Like without them, it falls a little flat. It's a little too open. But when you put those there, it really like lets you know the loop is beginning and that you're you're getting ready for something. I think putting things on that second measure right there, second beat, uh, it really is a high level technique. I mean, it can it can transform the flow of a beat from amateur to semi-pro in you know that plus a few other things uh yeah not much other percussion because this is one of those big open tracks on some of the big drake tracks there's a uh, little no percussion uh, i'm thinking nice for what especially this has a vibe like that um you know minimal kicks uh those rolls right there are pretty important putting the hi-hat rolls uh right before the beat changes the measure changes that's a good technique uh minimal kicks yeah um that clap the clap is what makes it so like big and drakey is because the reverb tail is there if you take that away it starts to just sound very like trappy because trap trap like classical trap or whatever just has like very punchy drums very tight drums so leaving the reverb tail on is going to uh help give it a bigger bigger vibe 
and then here yeah that part is unnecessary i was experimenting but yeah let me know um what else i should cover because this is my first video like this so it's kind of just thrown together in 20 minutes but give me some ideas thank you